Hey guys, it's Lee. Not doing mowers today. It's 4th of July weekend. We're at um, Piney Campground, Dover, Tennessee, Kentucky Lake. So we decided to camp. We got breakfast cooking. That's it. Hey guys, it's Lee. So I think I probably just played a camping trip. I've been back two days been out of the game of mowers for a while because i tell you what it's like almost 100 degrees every day and it hadn't rained in um three about, just about a month almost a month uh so it's dry the yard looks terrible it's just hot and humid but anyway i got this mower before i went on my camping trip right here the red one and actually a trailer i'll show that to you in a minute but it was free on marketplace and um guy sold his house moving to somewhere that he didn't have to mow his yard and um so he put it on there for free i just happened to catch it at the right time um he said it hadn't ran in a year i just didn't ask any questions because it was free so let's just take a look and see what we got okay so i got the battery pack on Got the parking brake set. You know, you can tell it looks pretty dirty. 21 horse Briggs. Let's just see what it does. So it is the transmission. I thought that guy said something about it, but you put that, you know, it's a six speed and you put it in gear, it's just no friction at all going through the gear. So I think it could be as simple. It's not the belt because it's still all to go through the gears without the belt. It's, um, I, mean, I, bet, I bet a linkage arm, I bet it's, it's not connected to the transmission somehow. So anyway, I'm going to have to pull it into the shop and take the deck off and then um, try to figure out if that transmission is going, if the gear shifter is going to the transmission. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I'm laying here. You see that little arm flapping? <laughs> I think it's just a cutter pin came out. It's probably gonna hook to there. I don't know where it hooks, but I'm gonna figure it out. It's a little ball joint. It's not a cotter pin, it's a ball joint, kind of like on your, um, on the front steering. It's got a crack in it and it just fell out. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is try to kick that over into at least first gear because it must be stuck in neutral. So I'm gonna try to put it in first gear and see if I can get it to move. And if I can, I'm gonna order the part. Fix it. Okay, so I'm laying down here on the ground out on the trailer. This is from the other side. You can't see, can you? Well, that's a ball joint right there, and I can't. Let me see if I can get the camera in there. Y'all just bear with me. That's the arm right there, and there it is. So, and it goes up, and I can't see it because of my position. But I evidently, this goes up here. I can feel the ball up here. So what I'm going to do is try to push it with this crowbar and hammer in the gear. But I think it's just stuck in, you know, reverse, I mean neutral. And if it moves and drives, I'm going to just order me another arm. Be the easiest thing. That can't be much.
Okay, a little update. I took the deck off so I could reach the um, linkage. I hammered that linkage back on, but now I'm uncovering that the drive belt's off and I gotta get to this top pulley to do it. So I'm gonna take the battery out where I can reach in there and do it. So that's where I'm at. Okay, so I took the battery box out, battery out. I put it on charge. It's a, it's a new battery. Um, probably bought this spring. Is C22, whatever that code means, but it's got to be 22. Um, tire aired up nicely, and um, I hammered that link in. But, you know, now if it works, I'll get another one. It's just temporary because it'll fall off again. I got the belt on there around that back pulley, and it seems to be tight. So we're fixing to see if this thing moves. If it is, remember, this was a free tractor. And the deck looks good, too. Deck cable just down here. Let's see what happens. I can tell that arm fell back off. So I'm just going to try to get it in like second gear, just where to run and don't move it because that arm will fall off again. So and then we'll just drive it around and see what happens. So this is um, me just getting things cleaned up. So I put that arm on, I used a little hammer to tap it onto the ball. What you couldn't really see is there was just a crack in that arm causing that to fall off the ball. And it's the same setup as on your steering linkages where the um, ball um, in the, um, you know, connectors with the ball. But anyway, so I'm just cleaning it up I ordered it already on Amazon, so it'll be, you know, a few days before I put it on. Putting it on is there, it's not a big deal. You know, the big thing about this is um, this was free on Marketplace. I was just lucky, fortunate enough to get there first because a lot of people were trying to get to it. But the guy said in the ad that it would not start and it would not move even, even if you got it started. So, you know, I was thinking, well you know, shot engine or shot transmission or both, you know, what in the world this guy do to the mower? But I thought for that, you know, I could, I'd, I would just go and part it out and get the starter off of it and carburetor and some parts. But anyway, you see what happened? You know, the battery was just dead. So I started it with the booster pack and I charged it. And that battery's not, it was bought this year in year 2022. So the battery's good. And um, now the belt did f fall off. The dry belt fell off. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but anyway, I put it back on, ran it around the yard several times, and it worked. But um, so I ordered it. And I, look, I, I have, I mean, I think this is going to be a good running mower for $12 is what it cost me to order that part. I don't think anything else is needed. I mean, even the drive belt. It had a few cracks in it, but it wasn't real bad. So I just, I'm gonna leave it like it is. And uh, so anyway, this is just me cleaning up the deck and the mower where the pressure washer is up here. Um, got the part ordered, gonna slap it on there. It's just two bolts. So it's an easy thing to do, then put the deck back on. Now look, it hadn't rained in a month. So you can see my, how terrible my grass looks. But uh, anyway, that's uh, kind of it. All right, so it runs and drives good. Oh, by the way, that's the trailer I got. I got that for free with that mower. Nothing wrong with it. Tires hold air. I mean, it's a good trailer. So got that for free. Got this for free. So I'm going to order that linkage that goes through the transmission. So it'll keep falling off. Obviously, it moves. So that's a big plus, and the deck looks good. Yeah, I just sprayed it off, but there, I mean, the belt looks good. Everything looks good. Everything's tight. Pulleys don't have any grind to it that I can tell. Undercarriage looks good. So this is gonna be a win for me. I'm gonna order the part, and I'll come back when it comes in. We'll put it on.